Hi, in this video, we are going to look at how to connect to a MicroTik router using the Winbox. First off, we will have to download the MicroTik Winbox software. And to do that, I'm just going to go into my browser and then search for Winbox MicroTik download. I mean, it could be MicroTik Winbox download, right? And the very first. <coughs> link that came up is the is to the microtech official uh, website so i'm going to click that to open it and then yeah down here i have my winbox the current version is the 3.4.1 so i'm going to click on that and select windows 64 bits i mean my system is a windows 64 bit system so i'll hit on that and then wait for it to download okay it's asking that i save and yeah up white so it has downloaded so i can go to the downloads and then pick up the winbox application so i'm going to copy this onto my desktop so that is easily accessible to me so let me do that and then that's it so i have winbox on my desktop now now we need to connect to our microtech device right so looking here this is how i am going to connect my system to microtech so i have i'm going to connect a cable network cable from my laptop which has the win box to the microtech router on eth1 i mean it, will, it can be any of the ports that you have on the microtech device but in my case i am connecting to port one of the microtech router right now let me open up the winbox application and usually this is how it looks like when you open it up now once we connect to our microtech the winbox is going to discover the microtech by default and then show them within this pane right so i'm going to connect my microtech i've connected it and i'll hit this refresh button right so you see that it has detected my microtech uh, router board device right and this is the version of the microtech it also tells you the the version of software that it is currently running and then by default the identity on it will be microtech and then you see there's an ip assigned on one of the interfaces of the microtech by default the microtech comes with a configuration with an ip of 192.168.8.1 now there are two ways we can connect to this. We can either connect to it by IP, right? On 192.168.88.1. However, if there's no IP, then we can opt for the MAC address. So you realize that once I click on the MAC address, the connect to address here changed, right? Likewise, if I connect on IP, it changes here as well. In my case, I want to connect using the MAC address, right? I'm assuming there's no IP and I'm doing this on layer two, right? Now, by default, the default uh, login name is admin with no password. I'm going to hit connect. And there we go. Right. I have currently connected to the Microtik device. Now, this pop-up you see here is just uh, info on the current configurations that are on the router. For instance, if you look here, it says LAN configuration. You see the IP address is 192.168.88.1. It says there's a DHCP server enabled and then there's DNS enabled, right? Now, because I am connected to it, let's say if my host is picking any IP from it currently. So um, I'm going to go into my command prompt and hit IP config. And you realize that I am picking an IP of uh, 192.168.88.254 with a subnet mask and then 88.1, right? So even the GACP is enabled on the router and I'm able to pick IPs from them. So I'm going to say okay to either accept it or if I'm not interested in any of the configurations on it, I, I just hit remove configurations, right? In this case, I'm just going to accept it and say okay. Now, the very first things that you'll be prompted with is for you to change the password, right? Now, in our case, because it's the first time we are connecting to it, and as I mentioned, 
Yeah, initially the login name is admin without a password so all i need to do is to enter the new password i want to assign to to this here and then say hit change now okay now to test if this has taken effect i am going to exit right and then reopen microtech right now if i try to do this without the password it wouldn't work right i need to now enter the new password that i have configured and then hit connect and you realize that we are able to now connect to the microtech via the win box and from here on you can undertake any configurations that you want to carry out on this device thank you for watching